right? Have you seen the story regarding Bella Thorne and Whoopi Goldberg? Who would have thought you would say those two names in the same sentence, right? Bella Thorne, Whoopi Goldberg. Got into a weird little back and forth. Well, not really a back and forth. More so, you know, the View uh, panel commented on an issue Bella Thorne had. And Bella Thorne decided to do the best thing that most millennials love to do. And it's cry where they got their phone in their hand. That's a skill that I've never really been... I've never really understood how that works, right? The ability to hold a phone in your hand as a selfie and start crying on cue. It's really psychotic. It really is. It's like... That's a bit disturbing that you can just do that. Um, usually when you're crying, the last thing you want people to see is you, right? You're crying, right? You don't want anyone to see you. Yeah, You're on your own. You're, no, you're going through a rough period. You're feeling shit about yourself. The last thing you're going to do is draw attention. You're not going to cry, you know. And there are times that you can just cry and burst into tears, you know, because you remembered something or you remember somebody that you lost or whatever it may be or you're going through a bad situation. But usually you're not trying to have people look at you whilst you're crying or checking your likes. It's like that. Remember that video? Of there's a little meme, a video of this girl crying on social. She's got like an iPad on her bed or something. She's sitting down. She's like crying. She's a little girl, like a toddler, like, uh -huh, uh -huh, crying. And then she kind of stops on cue, stops recording it on the phone and kind of like writing the caption that she's writing. It's like, whoa, freaky. Anyway, so this story goes like this. Bella Fawn, um, a uh, young social, I don't know, is she an actress, social? I don't know. Well, I know her for being Little Peep's ex-girlfriend. She's on the scene. She's around. You know what she looks like. Bella Fawn, whatever it may be. Just one of those hollywood um girls around town she um she's gets blackmailed by a, a random hacker group who threatens to leak her nude pictures pictures that she had inadvertently uploaded to her icloud right because you know everyone's got an icloud you want to throw up some space on your phone you upload them to icloud sometimes you have a setting on your phone that all might upload them on there anyway so the hackers end up hacking her account got all her pictures and videos that she kind of had on her phone privately she sent to you know people talking up with, but just in general for herself you know pictures of her naked whatever she may be doing kids can do what they want on their phones cool young girl she can do what she wants they're threatened to leak it better phone decides you know what i'm gonna take the stand i'm gonna leak them myself so i'm not gonna be blackmailed cool good little thing she done in it right because i think this one else did that right one day some another girl did that too i forgot it was i think um radiohead recently did that too because they got um they got blackmailed by hackers that they were going to release their unreleased album, blah, blah, blah. There are precedents that have been set this way. She does it, she releases her own news on Twitter and everyone freaks out, right? So the view uh, panel of people who are usually, you know, kind of, you know, mums, women in, you know, in, the, in their mature years, sit down and talk about this issue. And naturally, um, with most of the panel being mums, with the exception of maybe Whoopi, I'm not sure if Whoopi's got a kid, but most of the panel are mums or are maternal figures in that response. They have a very maternal figure response. And I think Whoopi's reply was like, oh, you should never do that anyway. I'll, I'll play the video in the background and just mute it so I don't want to get kicked off here. But it's a video here from The Hollywood Reporter. So basically, Whoopi says something on the lines of like, you shouldn't have, you, sh you should know better than this, right? Bella Fawn isn't a child. She should know better than this. And this isn't something that you should really be doing in 2019. You know that if you up upload the post a picture on your phone you can potentially go to iCloud people can hack your account pretty reason thing to say right because you'd think if that was Bella Fawn's mum if you're someone's mum right and you found that your daughter had all their all their naked pictures strung out online because someone hacked their phone you would be disappointed and angry at these hackers but you know frustrated you want to beat somebody across the head cool but you'd also want to just like shake your child and be like, what the fuck were you thinking why would you take pictures of yourself on your phone right and send them to randoms or whatever maybe right you'd be upset it's a general kind of mum thing to say but of course you know like if you are not if you don't take responsibility for your own actions and you're a bit entitled what sort of reaction you're gonna have you're gonna blame everyone else but yourself so Bella Fawn got on Instagram and started crying, right? Or with the phone in her hand, crying that somehow Whoopi Goldberg had body shamed her, had caused trolls to come after her, um, had then she equated somehow that suicide victims, this is what suicide victims have to go through when people don't take their uh, plight seriously. Just some really heavy, heavily charged words and accusations against basically Whoopi Goldberg taking the general kind of mum stance. But I think it's interesting, this whole issue is that it's the end of cancer culture because I think if this would have happened a few years ago, Whoopi Goldberg would potentially have to have got fired from her role at The View. Potentially. She would have had to walk away, step away. This is a video in the background here of, of Bella Fawn crying. Look, she's sobbing. You know what's weird about this? She obviously was crying beforehand when she saw the clip and then side got on the phone, typed shame on you on the front of her thing, right? Shame on you with the you, obviously, because, you know, she's a millennial. And then just like crying on cue on camera. It's so bizarre that people do this. It's absolutely bizarre. 
you know, you see the people like Trisha Payton sitting on the, you know, she's probably a little bit mentally disturbed, but the whole sitting on the kitchen floor and just crying your heart out, that's like, just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I, I personally, it just makes me feel so awkward watching that someone go through that. But again, I think cancel culture is finally coming to an end and I'm happy about it because obviously in, in a few years ago, I think Whoopi Goldberg would have got fired from The View if this would have happened. Like she would have definitely got fired. Suicide Prevention Squad would have come out. There would have been articles written about her. She would have to re- apologize to all the people in the world that got... But it just would have been a complete clusterfuck. And again, it really removes any personal responsibility from anyone. So essentially you can... People commended Bella Form for posting her own nudes right then somebody else kind of opposing comments said yeah of course what hackers are doing is wrong and it's abhorrent and they'll come and hack your account and take any of your personal items and try and spread them out there or blackmail you in any sort of way disgusting deplorable action they should be buried under a jail cool but why are you taking pictures on your smartphone if you're of the level celebrity she is and if you're going to do it why are you uploading them to the nightclub iphones are quite secure it's quite hard to hack into somebody's iphone but cloud-based storage systems they get hacked all the time it's like what are you doing but again no personal responsibility it's always somebody else's fault never your own fault again it's a really interesting way to view the world like i wish i had that in me i wish i could do that it's like um imagine you got fired from a job that you were clearly shit at right um you just like nah it was his fault man the manager's a dickhead man no you know that place man they don't know how to treat me anyway they all know what they missed out on it's like no 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 maybe it was your fault right or so the the girl of your supposedly dreams breaks up with you because you've been treating her like shit well you know what maybe if you treated her better him or her they would have stayed with you and you wouldn't have fucked it up right but nah it's their fault they don't understand me they're not riding with me they should be here come thick or thin it's like no everyone has their breaking point i guess it's whoopi's breaking point these young kids going around you know wanting all the privileges of looking the way you look having access to people that you won't have access to and the moment it backfires due to your own errors is suddenly you'll become a victim the privilege has gone away now you are speaking for all the girls out there who've been body shag oh come on man. now what is bella going to be the spokesperson for girls with body dysmorphia or that have been publicly shamed or have been the victim of um what's that thing called um where people kind of sex shame you like it's not it's not the same thing this isn't the same thing like honestly i really but again i'm happy cancer culture is finishing and it's kind of wrapping up because i'm tired of it man literally i'm tired of it i'm tired about speaking about it i'm tired about seeing it. i'm tired about reading about it it's just like enough there are some people who are going to do things that you don't find cool that you find abhorrent that you find disgusting right but we live in a world where there are many people that are like that right our neighbors there might be people in our own families that we detest but we put up with them because that's what it is to be an adult that's what it is to live in the world that you live in i don't believe in this idea that you're going to change the world to kind of suit your preferences no you have to be in the world right and somehow navigate through all the shit that you don't like in order to kind of get to the place that you want to be right surround yourself with the people that you want to surround yourself with you have to you're gonna have to go through a few shitty friends you have to go through a few crappy jobs and then eventually you'll get to that point or that place where you'll find some solitude some comfort in the people that are around you but you have to go through some bullshit you can't be just all daffodil and roses life is never gonna be that way it's too unpredictable there's too many crazies roaming around the street for it to be that way and what fun would it be anyway right everyone just being exactly like you and agreeing with everything you say boring <sighs> Mama mia, man. Honestly, imagine being Bella Fawn's friend and having her call you up sobbing on the phone about Whoopi Goldberg um, body shaming her. And then you're like, what? Tell me the story. What happened again? What? She she said that you shouldn't have uploaded your pics onto the iCloud because it's 2019 and she'd know better. When did the fucking fappening happen? Remember the fappening when all these celebrities got hacked? Why did they get hacked? Because all those pictures were on the fucking iCloud. All of them. Mostly, I think the majority of them on the iCloud. That's why they've all dried up now because most managers or agents worth their soul would have sat down with their clients with a tech guy and gone through all their digital devices and says okay cool if you want to send pictures of your JJ to your partner here's how to do it securely here's how not to do it securely and they've all kind of cleaned up their act that's why you don't see any kind of nude pictures of celebrities leaking anymore because everyone kind of realized during the fappening that hey this is an issue don't upload them to iCloud cool but still in 2019 this young girl who should probably know better because you know you've grown up with a digital device in your hand somehow gets duped into getting hacked and then decides to cry because somebody older thought that you know maybe took the position that you shouldn't be taking pictures of yourself nude anyway different points of view man Whoopi Goldberg's like what 60 50 something like what do you expect us to say 
Oh, you go, girl, empower yourself, man. If I had a body like that, no, man. Like, don't put a picture of yourself up to iCloud. It's just pretty simple. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> 